Hey guys, so this right here is the SureBuilt crossbar dent and ding repair kit I got from my local auto parts store. You can also get similar kits from places like Harbor Freight or Amazon, and it was about $20. So inside the box, you're going to find two bags. This one has a hot glue gun, two glue sticks, three of these pulling pads of different shapes, and this little tapping tool, which I'll demonstrate later. And in the second bag, we find the crossbar itself, so basically the way this works is this will sit on your car across the dent. So you have these two pads, which are rubber so they don't damage your paint. They are, they're going to sit across the dent here and then the pulling thing will be hot glued onto the dented area. And then you have this piece which has a thread in it. And as you pull on this, as you tighten this, this piece pulls up and that's how the dent gets removed. And this method does not require any paint work whatsoever because it attaches directly to your car's surface and pulls the dent out. So there's no need for body filler, paint, touching up the paint, all that stuff. You just pull it out and you're done. So now let's demonstrate how to use it. So I first wiped down the dented area with a small amount of rubbing alcohol. I'm using 70% isopropanol, just the standard stuff should work. And this will give me a clean surface to stick my polar onto. Next, I select a, pol a polar thing that is about the right size. This small one should work. Then I'm taking the hot glue and just put a thin layer on the surface. Don't know what that chunk of un melted glue was doing on the hot glue gun, but now you just take that and put it on there, hold it up to it for a few seconds, then it should harden up. And then we can use this to pull out the dent. After waiting a few minutes for the hot glue to cool down, I can then begin the actual pulling process. I put the included bridge thing across the dent and now I'm just tightening this wing nut. And now I can very slowly Tighten this down and it will pull the dent right out. So there is a very slight improvement in the way the dent looks. We were able to pull it out slightly, but this is a very small dent. It's not very noticeable. So I think this tool is really designed for repairing larger dents on flat surfaces. This one is right along a body line, and it's already so small that you're not going to get much of a noticeable improvement. But if you have a larger dent on a flat surface, I'm sure this would be a great tool to use. Either way, it won't really hurt to try. As long as your paint's in good shape, these tools cannot do any damage. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you did, and see you all next time.